a flurry of diplomacy regarding North Korea. Amid rising concerns that Pyongyang may be planning a fifth nuclear test, Washington and Beijing reaffirmed their firm opposition to North Korea's provocative and irresponsible behaviors following a meeting of the two countries' top diplomats today. Now, tomorrow, South Korea's chief nuclear negotiator will fly to Beijing to discuss collaboration against the reclusive state with its Chinese counterpart. And obviously, there's a lot of attention on Pyongyang's foreign minister currently in New York on a very rare visit. The full story, here's our Kwon Soa. South Korea's top nuclear chief Kim hong yun and his Chinese counterpart Wu Dawei are planning to hold talks in Beijing on Friday. The current situation on the Korean Peninsula, the implementation of UN Security Council sanctions on North Korea, and deterring the regime from further provocations are top issues expected to be on the agenda. Seoul's foreign ministry said Thursday as South Korea-China talks will come just a day after bilateral talks between the U.S. and China. These talks will contribute to increased trilateral cooperation between Seoul, Washington and Beijing on the North Korea nuclear issue. In the meantime, North Korea's foreign minister Lee Soo-yong arrived in New York to attend a signing ceremony at the UN headquarters Friday on the Paris Climate Change Agreement and to take part in the high-level thematic debate on achieving the Sustainable Development Goals, where the official may be making remarks. There is no word yet on whether he will meet with UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon or whether he will meet with his US counterpart John Kerry. Washington so far denied talks are planned. This trip comes amid mounting concerns Pyongyang may conduct another nuclear test anytime soon. South Korea and the U.S. are closely observing the possibility of any additional provocations from North Korea, and we are continuously sending out strong messages on the matter. According to 38 North, a website specializing in North Korean matters, satellite imagery from April 19th shows vehicles and equipment moving around the entrances and main support area of Pyongyang's nuclear test site, which may indicate possible preparations for a fifth nuclear test. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.